futures contracts points that you ought to know about the concept of futures, what's the meaning of expiry and what are the product features. Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth video on derivatives and in this video we're going to talk about the four points you ought to know about futures contracts if you're interested in a career in fund accounting, corporate actions, trade life cycle and OTC derivatives. Futures contracts are derivatives implying that these derivatives could be equity derivatives or interest rate futures. The futures are listed derivatives. That means they are exchange traded products. The futures contracts imply that the price of the contract is locked in beyond the spot market. And therefore, since it's a highly leveraged product, there is a daily margin calculations. This is called as mark to market or MTM. Let's understand each of these points in greater detail as we explore more about futures. Derivatives, as we already know, are contracts to buy or sell the underlying asset in order to hedge or speculate on the particular trade. It is not a capital raising activity. Listed derivatives are exchange traded derivatives that are issued by the exchange with standardized terms. And these terms and conditions are applicable to all the derivatives. Most listed derivatives are cash settled. Cash settled implies that there is no real underlying exchange of the assets at the time of settlement. Instead, profits and losses are just squared off. Futures contracts on an exchange. What is the meaning of an exchange traded product? On an exchange, the exchange is a centralized trading platform where the buyer places the order with the buyer's broker. The seller places the order through the seller's broker. Both the brokers are members of the exchange and when the exchange matches these two orders, we get what is called as a trade. This system of centralized trading is very important in exchange traded products because almost all OTC trades are decentralized trades. Futures contract types could be either stock futures on individual stocks or it could be index futures on underlying indices like S&P, Dow, Nasdaq 100, etc. Most markets, index futures are the most traded futures. Okay. In India also, Nifty 50 is the futures that is traded most extensively compared to stock futures because it's a parameter of the underlying performance of the market, the bullishness, the bearishness, what is the market sentiment, etc. Let's understand some crazy market lingo in terms of settlement because as I told you, settlement is mandatory, settlement is standardized. All futures contracts are called futures because obviously the price lock-in is beyond spot date. The front of the new month is for the futures that are expiring in the current month. I'm recording this video in the month of March 2023. So the new month is March 2023 futures. The next month, well, as the name suggests, is the next month. So if I'm trading in futures which are expiring in April, it's called the next month. And the far month is the third month beyond the present month. So if the expiry happens three months after the present month, it's called as far month futures. Many markets also issue futures up to one year, but those are not as liquid as the near month. So between these three, that is near month, next month and far month, the maximum trades and volume of activity will take place in the near month compared to the far month. There is very high liquidity in the near month as compared to the far month. Settlement date is a fixed expiry date. Why do we use the term expiry for futures? Because the contract expires. Last Thursday of the month is the fixed expiry date for NSE and BSC. Compare this to in the spot market, NSE and BSC trade on T plus 1. That means the settlement is a rolling settlement and in futures, it's a fixed expiry date. Okay. So that's the biggest difference between spot market and derivative market. The spot market settles every day, T plus 1. Okay. Whereas in the case of uh, futures, it's a fixed expiry date. 
In the case of markets like Nasdaq, the third Friday of the settlement month is the settlement date. That means the contract expires on that date. What do we mean by expiry? On expiry means the contract expires so you cannot have an outstanding position in a product that doesn't exist. So therefore the positions have to be squared off before expiry. Let's understand contract size and contract value because this is important for all margin calculations. Let's say for example the lot size is 100 of the underlying asset. The contract price is $50. The contract value is $50 multiplied by 100 is $5,000. All margin calculations are based upon the contract size. The initial margin is a percentage of the contract size. The variation margin or the top up margin is a percentage of the difference between the initial margin and the mark to market margin. And finally, margin closeout. What happens when a futures contract is closed out? If you're interested in more content on fund accounting, corporate actions, trade life cycle, and OTC derivatives, do subscribe to my YouTube channel where I provide research rich content on these topics. Thank you so much for watching and listening into this video. Keep learning, keep growing.